Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. I welcome you for this daily meditation. We have been meditating about the fruit of the Spirit. According to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, the fruit of the Spirit is love. Then the Apostle goes on to describe eight qualities of love. And we have been meditating on them. And today we are concluding the meditation on the goodness, the fifth quality, goodness. Before we do that, I want to share with you that uh, for the next two weeks I will be traveling. So I won't be able to record this message. Please pray for me. The scripture I want to encourage us to meditate today is Psalm 34 verse 8. It says, Blessed is the man, no, I'm sorry, I, I did not quote it right. Uh, 34 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who take refuge in him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The psalmist is inviting us to taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, indeed, our Lord God, the Almighty Father, is so good. We can taste Him and we can see Him. His goodness, His greatness is amazing love for us. So throughout this day, let us ask Jesus to teach us to taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord is good in so many ways, giving us taste, giving us vision, giving us intelligence, giving us all sorts of goodness, not only in ourselves, but all around us. When we taste food, we are tasting the goodness of the Lord. When we see all sorts of beautiful things around us, we are seeing the goodness of the Lord. When we experience love from others, we are tasting and seeing the goodness of the Lord. When we enjoy the amazing love of God, we are tasting and seeing the goodness of the Lord. Sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us experience, enjoy, tasting and seeing the goodness of the Lord expressed in and through Jesus Christ. Can you believe the amazing expression of God's love? Hanging on the cross, Jesus prayed, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Whenever we do something wrong, a commit a sinful act, or think and desire a sinful thing, Jesus is hanging on the cross and praying, Oh Father, forgive him, forgive her, because he or she does not know what she is doing, he is doing. Sisters and brothers, let us taste and see the pain, the hurt, the horrible death he died on the cross for us. When we begin to taste and see the pain that he has gone through, of course, we will experience pain that we caused the Lord God Almighty, our eternal Father, on account of us doing, desiring, things against his will, things that are destructive to us. Sisters and brothers, in and through Christ, let us see and taste the forgiveness of God out of pain, out of horrible death that he went through. The goodness of God was expressed in and through the crucifixion of his one and only beloved Son. We are that important to God. Taste and see the goodness of God 
on the cross of Christ. Throughout this day, let us welcome Jesus into our heart and ask him, Lord, enable me to taste and see how good you are. Your love for us is absolutely amazing, beyond our comprehension. But Lord, teach us to taste and see your goodness and thereby enable us to give out goodness to others that they may taste and see your goodness in and through us. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you, we praise you for inviting us to taste and see how good you are. Lord Jesus Christ, enable us to experience your goodness expressed through your crucifixion and death. Help us to taste and see the joy of your forgiveness. Help us to taste and see cleansed by your blood. Precious Lord, fill us with gratitude, thanksgiving, praise for the goodness you continue to give us. Bless us to give out that goodness to everyone by forgiving them, by praying for them, by desiring your goodness upon them. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.